Hi, my name is Peter Adams. I'm a professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering and the Department of Engineering and Public Policy. There are two main reasons why we care about airborne particulate matter. The first is its uh, public health impacts. So we estimate that tens of thousands of people die prematurely every year in the United States and several million globally. The other reason we care about atmospheric particles is the role they play in climate change. So atmospheric particles affect cloud formation, they affect precipitation, and on balance they have a cooling effect on the climate. And we think that overall atmospheric particles have masked a significant fraction of global warming over the last 100 years. One thing that my group has focused a lot on is uh, taking global climate models and really improving how they treat atmospheric particles, improving the chemistry and something we call microphysics, which is uh, the number of particles and their sizes and how that changes over time. Another thing that we've spent a lot of time doing is uh, using computer models to make better policy decisions. So my group does a lot of collaborative research with the Electricity Center and the Climate Change Center here at Carnegie Mellon University to look at how uh, changing energy systems will improve or worsen air pollution. We understand a lot more now about the particles that interact with clouds and how clouds form, things that we didn't understand even 10 years ago very well. Remember, every time you go outside in every little thimble full of air, there's thousands of particles. And uh, even though for the most part you can't see them, this is what our climate and our health largely depends on.